Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? How do they view you or this connection? And what do they wish they could tell you? So let's jump right in for Aries. Let's first pull some oracles to get an idea of your person's energy. Spirits, angels, guides, tell me what do we need to know about Aries person? The person that Aries is in a connection with or thinking about at this time for Aries spirit. What do we need to know about what this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to Aries? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Aries? I can't deny that you are my soulmate. What I got was denial. This person has been living in denial. I feel like they're just now realizing that they can't deny this any longer. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, I can't see myself with anyone else but you at the bottom of the deck here. Okay. What else can we get here for Aries? Tell me about the person that Aries is thinking about or in a connection with spirit. What is this person thinking or feeling about Aries? What are they thinking or feeling about Aries? I want to be more than friends. I want to feel that way again at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. I want to be more than friends. So I feel like maybe this person thinks that they were to approach you right now or begin talking to you, like maybe you would only see them as a friend and I don't think that that's what this person wants. Maybe you're already like interacting with this person in a friend on a friendship level, but they want more than that. This could be like a coworker or some something like that. What what else can you tell me, spirit? What are they thinking or feeling about Aries? You make me happy. I feel like this person's having realizations about you. Like, I don't think they probably were thinking about you in this way, like, two months ago, for example. I think this is new. It's like they're realizing something about you, about this connection, that they didn't know before. Tell me more. Tell me more for Aries. What is this person thinking, feeling about Aries? The spider. So the spider is very creative. They um, work hard. This is kind of like the Eight of Pentacles energy for me. Um, so I feel like this person is um, trying to figure something out here. Bottom of the deck, I have the bat, which is kind of like the death card. You know, it's all about transitions, changes, endings. So maybe this person knows that they have to work on changing some sort of some aspect in their life in order to be with you for whatever reason can we get some more insight please for aries spirit what do we need to know about this person and what they're thinking or feeling about aries what do we need to know what do we need to know for aries oops Okay, so let's see what they're thinking, feeling about you, their energies right now. King of Swords, the lovers reverse, Gemini energy there. Their intentions, actions, temperance reverse, magician reverse, okay. Sagittarius energy with the temperance card. And what you should know, any hidden factors, <laughs> the moon, okay. Pisces energy, queen of pentacles reverse. Hmm bottom of the deck the eight of cups yeah i feel like this is somebody that would have to probably walk away from something aries or change something in their life something would have to be different here now in what their intentions or actions i don't see this person able to do anything right now with the temperance card and the magician reverse it's almost like they can't manifest they can't work on this they can't bring something into balance or resolve something Something's like out of balance here. Can I get some more insight, please, for Aries? 
So let's start with what they're uh, thinking, feeling about you, their current energies. With this King of Swords, I'm getting like they want to talk. And then I'm getting the message that they want to talk so that you're on the same page. Okay, so let's see. Tell me about the Lovers Reverse. Why is the Lovers Reverse? The Devil. Capricorn Energy. Why is the Lovers Reverse? Eight of Wands. They want to talk about something here. Maybe that they're holding back for a reason or they were holding back for a reason. Tell me about the King of Swords. Oops, Page of Cups, Two of Wands. Yeah, they want to tell you, um, they want to express themselves to you. But I feel like at the same time, yeah, there's a Two of Swords and Nine of Swords. At the same time, it's like they have to also admit something to you or tell you something that maybe you don't know. Because the Moon is here and the Devil is here. So there could be some sort of an attachment here. Tell me about the devil. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here, spirit? Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's something here that's um, keeping your person from, I feel, really going after this. There could be a burden, a responsibility, um, some sort of attachment, some something else here. Um, Hmm. And I feel like that's why they're not doing anything at this time. So why temperance reverse with the magician reverse? Spirit, why is temperance reverse with the magician reverse? Why is temperance reverse? Seven of cups. Okay, so the seven of cups was at the bottom of the deck before I pulled it out here. Hmm. So this could be a card about illusion because I have the moon, I have the seven of cups. Something's not as it seems. I feel like you don't know something, but it could be that this person is also trying to make a choice here because something's not quite right in their life with the temperance card reverse. Why is the temperance card reverse with the magician reverse? Judgment. Mm. So they would have to make a judgment call of some sort make a big decision here. When I have the Seven of Cups with Judgment, it's a big decision. Yeah, Five of Pentacles at the bottom. So I feel like th th there would be some sort of difficulty with this decision. It's it's a difficult decision to make and that's why the Two of Swords has shown up. The Two of Wands is over there. The Eight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Maybe they need to walk away from something. Can I get one more please for the Seven of Cups and Judgment? Tell me more about the Seven of Cups and Judgment. <laughs> Five of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, there's the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, it's the same same message. Okay. I have a feeling that this person, um, whatever this is, it, it the decision has not been made, Aries. This is just, I feel like this is something that this person is just now thinking about. Now the Queen of Pentacles reverses here with the moon. So that is interesting to me. Why is the moon here with the Queen of Pentacles reverse? Why is the moon here with the Queen of Pentacles reverse? Temperance again, but temperance is upright this time. Sagittarius energy, okay. Tell me more about the moon and the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Knight of Pentacles. Can I get one more? I want one more, please. For the moon and the queen of pentacles. Yeah, six of pentacles. So this is about slowly bringing something back into balance. I just, I have this, I feel like you're in the dark, Aries. What's this Queen of Pentacles reverse about? Can I get one more please for this Queen of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Queen of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Queen of Pentacles? Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. I love how I'm just keep, I keep getting the same energy. Okay, so then we have the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck and I have the Nine of Wands. 
So there's something here with this Queen of Pentacles reverse, this Devil energy, the Ten of Wands. I feel like there's something else or someone else. Why is the Eight of Cups here? What's this Eight of Cups about, Spirit? Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Chariot. Okay, so I know this is someone moving, moving forward, leaving something. Can I get one more? Cancer energy with the Chariot. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Two of Cups. There's the Magician and Death. Yep. See what I'm seeing here? Magician and Death card. Scorpio energy with the Magician. I mean, with the Death card. Sorry, my mind is all over the place right now. <laughs> this, this person would have to end something. And I think it's a partnership. I think there's someone else here. And this is a burden on your person, I feel. Um, because this is a block. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cancer, very strongly here. Uh, Gemini as well. Or it could be... Actually, I have every sign here could be an earth sign I have air page of cups is here now with the page of cups and the knight of pentacles they're thinking about an offer they would make to you um, can I get one more for this knight of pentacles why is the knight of pentacles here why is the knight of pentacles here What's this Knight of Pentacles about? The Hermit, Virgo energy. This is what they're thinking about. Yeah, Queen of Swords, King of Cups, Three of Cups. They're thinking about this because in their mind, they want something with you, Aries, and they know they would have to work on whatever this is in order to have something with you. They want to be more than friends, but that's gonna cost them, right? And for some reason, I don't think you know this. Tell me about the moon. Can I get one more please for the moon? Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? Strength, Leo, energy. Justice, Seven of Swords, the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Where well, there you are, Aries, Libra as well. Another card about balance. Five of Swords. Hmm. Now I have the okay, so I have the Two of Wands, Two of Swords, Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles have come out. All the twos have come out at some point. Because I feel like this person is trying to make a decision. But I think they're trying to make a decision without all the answers. And also, this is something that's happening outside of you. So you don't know that this person is trying to make this decision. I feel that strongly. I think that you probably haven't really thought about this person in a serious way or someone that would seriously be a connection for you because maybe you already know that there's someone else here. But this person is really, they're like very tempted almost. Like they're tempted to make this judgment call even though it's going to cost them. They're that drawn to you. I mean, Eight of Cups, then the Chariot. It's almost like they know they're leaving something behind for you, Aries. I hope that this bonus reading resonated with you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, if you did, please consider liking, subscribing, and um, leaving me a comment letting me know it resonated. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to um, enter the giveaway if you're interested in winning a personal reading with me. All of that information is in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. All of your support is very much appreciated. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.